Hello everyone and welcome back. Here we have another simple operation that is set difference. It gives you a facility to find out a tuple which is present in one relation but not present in the next other relation. So it is again a binary operation. So it allows you to find out a tuple which is present in one relation but not present in other. So let's say we have two relation R and S and we write R minus S then it returns tuple which is present in R but not present in S. Okay. So how do we write it? If we write let's say R1 is instance of R and S1 is small s1 is instance of S then if we write if we write R1 minus S1, it means that of course it returns a tuple and it means that a tuple which belongs to R1, okay, but not belongs to not belongs to this tuple T does not belongs to R2. Okay, so that's how we write. Now let's understand it. Let's say we have two instances of relationship R and S as follows. So if we have two relations R and S and the instance for these relations are as given here and we have to find out R minus S then, then what we will do? We will just find out a row which is present in this R but not present in but not present in S. Okay, so it will be equal to let's say this is A1 B1, this is A1 B3. So A1 B1 combination is not here, so it will be equal to. And of course, first of all, what we have to check is that these two R and S are union compatible, right? So they have to be union compatible, and you know well what is union compatibility. So here we will see which row is present here in R but not present in S. So A1 B1 of course it is present in R but not present in S. It will be A1 B1. A2 B2 if you see it is present here and it also present here. Right? It is present in both the relations. So we will not write it. Now let's say A3 B1. So A3 B1 is present here in R but not present in S. So we will have A3 B1. Okay? We will check this presence only one way that is present in R but not present in S, not the reverse that is present in S but not present in R that will be S minus R. In that in this case S minus R we will check that the tuple which is present in S but not present in R, right? So this these are this is the result for R minus S. So if in this case in we have A and B attribute and if we have to find out B that is B which is not present in S. So in that case we will write R minus S or before we do R minus S we will first apply project operation on this. We will apply project operation in this R. So project and what we will project that is B from relation R minus project B from relation S. Okay. So if we do this in this case, what will be the what will be our answer? So that will be here we have first of all do project. So it will be if you do project in this operation, the, this column will remain. Here this column will remain. So let's solve it here. So we will have B1, B2, and of course only B1, B2 because in set we don't repeat the element. Okay. And now we have minus, minus of what? Again this B attribute and here we will have B3, B2, so B, sorry, B3, B2, okay? Now if we subtract this, we will have the row or the attribute which is present here but not present here, so that is equal to B1, okay? So this will be our answer for this particular query that is B1. Okay, so I hope this is clear. This was very simple. Next, we will uh, in the next lecture we will understand what is cross product.
so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching